हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मीनिंग ऑफ इन डिफरेंस कर मार्जिनल रेट ऑफ सब्सिट्यूशन लो ऑफ डिमिनिशिंग मार्जिनल रेट ऑफ सब्सिट्यूशन प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इन डिफरेंस कर बजट लाइन एंड कंज्यूमर इक्वली बिरम बाय इन डिफरेंस कर अप्रोच सो लेट स्टार्ट इट सो वॉट इज इन डिफरेंस कर इन डिफरेंस कर शोज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू गुड्स विच गिव इक्वल लेवल ऑफ सेटिस्फेक्शन टू कंज्यूमर इन डिफरेंस कर शोज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू गुड्स विच गिव इक्वल लेवल ऑफ सेटिस्फेक्शन टू कंज्यूमर और वी कैन से दैट इन डिफरेंस कर शोज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू गुड्स विच गिव इक्वल लेवल ऑफ हैप्पीनेस टू कंज्यूमर here you can see in first column we have combination second column we have x good third column we have y good if consumer buy combination a then he can get one unit of good x and 12 units of good y if he buy combination b then he can get two units of good x and eight units of good y similar you can see other combination c d and e but main thing is that whatever combination consumer will buy he will get same level of satisfaction because this is our indifference curve which represent all combination is giving same level of satisfaction if we convert this table into diagram we will get this in this diagram on x axis we have good x and y axis we have good y here you can see different combination a b c d e whatever combination consumer will buy he will get same level level of happiness he will get same level of satisfaction when we join all these combination we will get our indifference curve so this ic represent our indifference curve now we are going to talk about marginal rate of substitution marginal rate of substitution is very important part of indifference curve and marginal rate of substitution basically tell us how much units of one goods must be given up so that we can consume an additional unit of other goods marginal rate of substitution basically tell us how much units of one goods must be given up to consume an additional unit of other goods now we will see marginal rate of substitution of x for y that means how much units of y we must be given up so that we can consume an additional unit of x goods and formula of calculating this uh, change in y by change in x here change in y is 3 change in x is 1 that means in order to consume one unit of x we must give up three units of y so marginal rate of substitution of x for y is equal to 3 now we will see law of diminishing marginal rate of substitution that means as consumer gets more and more units of one commodities he is willing to give up less units for other commodities Law of diminishing marginal rate of substitution means as consumer gets more and more units of one commodity, he is willing to give up less and less unit of other commodities. In this table, you can see as consumer increasing more and more units of X, he is willing to give up less unit of Y. Earlier, he was willing to give up five units of Y to get one unit of X. after that he is willing to give up 3 unit of y so that he can get a 1 unit of x finally he is willing to give up only 1 unit of y so that he can get a 1 unit of x here you can see as consumer increasing more and more units of x he is willing to give up less and less unit of y so this will call law of diminishing marginal rate of substitution same thing you can see in this diagram in this diagram on x axis we have x good and y axis we have y good here you can see as consumer increasing more and more unit of x good he is willing to give up less unit of y so here slope of indifference curve shows diminishing marginal rate of substitution now we are going to talk about properties of indifference curve first property is indifference curve is always convex to origin indifference curve is always convex to origin because of diminishing marginal rate of substitution second property is ic slopes is downward ic always has downward slope ic means indifference curve always has downward slope because in order to gain one commodity we have to incur the loss of other commodity third property is all point on indifference curve give us same level of satisfaction 
as we earlier discussed, all combination on one indifference curve give us same level of satisfaction. Means consumer can buy any combination A, B, C, D, E, but he will get same level of satisfaction from all these combinations. Next property is higher indifference curve give us higher level of satisfaction. Higher indifference curve give us a higher level of satisfaction. In this diagram, you can see indifference curve 2 is higher than indifference curve 1. That's why indifference curve 2 is giving more satisfaction than indifference curve 1 because higher indifference curve give us higher level of satisfaction. Similar, indifference curve 3 is higher than indifference curve 2. That's why indifference curve 3 is giving more satisfaction than indifference curve 2 because higher indifference curve give us higher level of satisfaction. Last property is two indifference curve never intersect with each other. Now we are going to talk about budget line. Budget line shows different combinations of two goods which consumer can buy with his given income and prices of goods. Budget line shows different combinations of two goods which consumer can buy with his given income and prices of goods. In this diagram, you can see on x-axis we have x good and y-axis we have y good. This line represent our budget line. This line represent our budget line. Here you can see so many combinations. Consumer can buy 10 units of Y or 0 unit of X. Consumer can buy 8 units of Y or 1 unit of X. Or consumer can buy 6 units of Y or 2 units of X. Similar you can see other combination. Here main thing is that our budget line basically shows all combination which consumer can buy with his given income and prices of goods. And all combination. Inside our budget line are attainable means we can buy it, we can achieve it and any combination outside our budget line are unattainable means we cannot buy it, we cannot achieve it. Now we are going to talk about a shift in budget line. Our budget line shift forward from AB to CD. Our budget line shift forward from AB to CD. And our budget line shift forward when our income increase or prices of goods fall. Obviously, now we have more money, our budget will increase and our budget line will shift forward. On the other hand, our budget line shift backward from CD to AB. Our budget line shift backward from CD to AB. When our budget line shift backward, when our income fall and prices of goods increase. Obviously, now we have less money, our budget will reduce. That's why budget line will shift backward. Now, we are going to talk about consumer equilibrium by indifference curve approach. In this diagram on x-axis, we have x good and y-axis, we have y good. This AB, this line represent our budget line. IC1, IC2 and IC3 are our indifference curve. According to this approach, at which point our budget line tangent to our indifference curve, it will be called consumer equilibrium point. According to this approach, at which point our budget line tangent to our indifference curve, it will be called consumer equilibrium point. You can see at this E point, our budget line tangent to our indifference curve. That's why this E point will be called consumer equilibrium point. As we know, our budget line represent our budget. And indifference curve represent our satisfaction. At this E point, our satisfaction and budget are match with each other. So, it will be called consumer equilibrium point. We cannot establish our equilibrium on IC1 because IC1 is lower indifference curve. S similar, we cannot establish our equilibrium on IC3. No doubt, IC3 is higher indifference curve. A higher indifference curve gives us higher level of satisfaction. But this indifference curve is beyond outside, outside of our budget. Means we cannot achieve this indifference curve. We cannot achieve this combination. We cannot buy these combination. That's why E is our consumer equilibrium point. At this point, our budget and satisfaction are matched with each other. So E will be called consumer equilibrium point. So this is all about indifference curve analysis. I think you got it. And thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.